So you want to change the hard drive of the PS4 Pro. Awesome, you've come to the right place, here's how to do it. Uh, you're going to need a replacement hard drive, clearly, and a screwdriver, and I swear this red ribbon on the side actually comes into play. Um, so the hard drive this time around is on the back of the PS4 Pro. Uh, it's that little piece of plastic right there. Uh, you put your finger behind it, kind of pull forward, it'll make a snapping noise, and then it's going to be free. Pull it away. Um, I swear the snapping noise is not anything dangerous. It is supposed to happen, and, you know, the piece is not going to break and crumble, to, crumble into like a thousand pieces. Uh, don't forget the infamous PlayStation button screw. It's actually kind of an, an annoying an, an annoying spot this time around. Um, Got to tip the system upside down and you know get it out that way. What's even more annoying is how to pull the hard drive bay out, which is why we have the red ribbon in place here. Um, you can actually see probably there's those two pieces of like metal that's kind of bent in an upward fashion. Now you could try to like use your fingers to like pry it out or something, but I swear it's a pain in the ass the first time you try to do it. So I guess the easy thing to do, or at least this is what I did, I found a piece of red ribbon. Um, you know, use any other color ribbon or maybe some string, whatever you have lying around the house, put it behind the metal pieces, pull the hard drive bay out. Just to make it a little bit easier. Then you got your typical four screws around the hard drive bay. You're gonna wanna get those out by any means necessary, although I do recommend using a screwdriver just to, you know, just to do this the proper way, right? If we want to be a little bit proper about this. Old hard drive out, new hard drive in. Make sure the sticker is down. Make sure the connectors are facing the um, the open section of the bay. And then put the, screw, the, the screws back in. Spoiler alert, not that I, I, I mean, I assume you guys knew that part was coming up. Nothing, nothing super crazy uh, there. Uh, and then, uh, you know, everything's all well and sudden done. You're going to put it back in, put the PlayStation button screw back in, put the plastic piece back in. Um, the more important part to this, and this is where some people do get a little bit confused, is making sure you have the proper software for this. So you're going to have to boot your PS4 Pro into safe mode and install and in, in, initialize and install the latest firmware. But proper way to do this, of course, I'll even show you, you're going to have to go to Sony's website. Just go to Google, straight up type in, like even if you don't want the proper link, just type in PlayStation firmware into Google. It's probably gonna be the first result for most of you people. You're gonna see that it says like, oh, here's the latest firmware, for my case it's 4.05. Don't hit download update. You want the larger files. So scroll all the way down and you're gonna wanna go to the section that says perform a new installation of system software because that's what we're doing. We're performing a completely new installation uh, for, the, for your PS4 Pro. Hit that little download link, that's why it's so easy for people to miss. Uh, make sure it's, you know, saved to the external hard drive you're going to be using, into the file PS4, and then update. I already have it, so I don't need to download it. And then go, obviously, to your PS4 Pro, boot it into safe mode, make sure your uh, external drive's connected, you know, hit reinitialize PS4, and it's, it's a kind of annoying long process, but this will be the proper way to get your PS4 going and to have everything all well said and done. And then once that's uh, that's all completed, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, I think it still goes without saying, but do not take your old hard drive out of a you know your old PS4 and just stick it right into the new one. Make sure you have a solution for moving your save files over. Uh, Sony offers a way to do it via Ethernet cable, but obviously if you're going to be needing your your already large hard drive and say your your first ps4 you're gonna have to back it up or something so just keep that in mind anyway that's it for this uh, v, uh ps4 pro video and uh thank you all for watching i hope you all found it useful and subscribe for more playstation news reviews let's plays and more ps4 pro type stuff see you later